Hello everybody, just going to do a video that I'm going to entitle Keep It Simple Stupid. I'm going to show you everything that's in the back of my tank. Alright, let's remember this is an innovative marine, Fusion 20, all in one. So we're going to start off, well, let's go over to the left side. Now we're on the left side, we have a suction cup that holds in Caddy 1. Caddy 1 has nothing in it as you can see but a carbon filter and polyfill let's take a little bit closer look at the uh, filtration system for it this is again number one all right just a standard polyfill uh, here's the bag There you go, polyfill, like five bucks. All right, chamber number one below it is gonna be the carbon. That is just a Tideline carbon pad, but I do something a little different. There is, doo -doo -doo -doo. that's the slide in, as you can see, it goes right there. I've drilled it out so that water can flow through it a lot easier. If you don't do that, you start getting a lot of fill up in the back. So that is number one. Okay, that's chamber number two. The wire going in there is just just the heater. Well, the thermometer, I should say. Number two. Let's get this out of the way. That's my Kimmy here, blue. I'll just show it to you for the heck of it. Kimmy Pure Blue. And we have two Mighty Jet return pumps. There they are sitting down in there. And there is the bubbler that I use at night. Let me just go ahead and switch that on real quick so you can see there is a bubbler in there. There's the bubbler. So that comes on. And that's all that's in that chamber. Chamber three, just the heater. Chamber four, again a suction cup to hold the caddy closer. Polyfill, and pond matrix. The only reason I have pond matrix really in that one is my copepods like to sit in there. I find more of them in there than any place else. And back together. Now to keep from evaporation, I just have a simple plexiglass that goes there, and then one that goes on top of it there, and then a piece of cut glass that goes on top of everything, make it look nice. That is what the top of the tank looks like. And of course, the decoration. So that's keeping it simple when it comes to the filtration. That's all I do. What do I dose with? Okay, well, let's get the food out of the way. Dosing, I'm still working out the dosing, but I'm using Alpha Reef, using Calcium from Seachem, using the Stability, again, Seachem, and Acropower. The rest of that goes to my freshwater tanks or the macroalgae tanks, so pay no attention to that. Oh, other than the Vibrant, one milliliter a week. That's it, the dosing right now, like I said, I'm playing with it, trying to get it all dialed in. I wanna keep my DKH nine to 10 range. Uh, right now, it's at 11.7 because I just got the Hannah Checker in last week. Red Sea was uh, saying I was at nine. Hannah is saying 12.4 on Thursday when I got it in. Right now, I've got it down to 11.3. I'll probably get it down to 10 and be happy. Uh, it was two mil, or Two squirts a day, which is just shy of four milliliters. I'm probably going to take it and bring it down to about one squirt a day, which is just shy of two milliliters, and we'll see where that's at. But first, I want to get it down to 10. And once I hit the 10 dKH, then I'm going to start seeing where I'm at. Probably take a couple weeks. But that's it. Uh, the Alpha Reef, loving the stuff. Can't ask for better. 
Uh, calcium, I'm always going to dose a little bit of calcium, and they really go to the other tanks as where to help with the macroalgae and some of the other stuff in them. Uh, might as well show you food. Uh, Viber bites, refroids, and microbites. Oops. Yeah, and your medication vials, that's all those are from the Canaplex and Metroplex. I love them. I wish people would make those for sale that I can just get them because that little scoop in there is great. But that's the tanks. That's how it looks right now. And it's as simple as that. When I, that bubbler comes on at night, that is, in all reality, uh, your protein skimmer. It turns your entire tank into one. Every couple days, take out the polyfill and replace it. How cheap is that? You know, one bag, one 12 ounce bag of polyfill. Let's see, we put that in there in April on the first bag. We just opened this bag this weekend. So you got May, June, July, August, September, so five months. And that's not just for that tank. It goes for the Weiss Nim tank. So, yeah. Keep it simple, keep it easy, and checkers are the Hannah Checker. And that's it. Have a good day.